When we talk about India's democratic decline, we can see that it has taken a more compound form in Uttar Pradesh. Whenever elections are around in any state or centre, false flag operations and thrashing Pakistan are the only practical option for aggressive Indian political parties and leaders such as Modi's BJP to win with clear margin. Indian nationalist Hindu pundits always suggest strengthening of anti-Pakistan narrative to gather support of extremist Hindu voters. Function of Parliament as oversight has been systematically sidelined in India due to the following reasons. Political engineering being done by ruling party as well as an evident use of money to attract voters has also made the elected representatives more loyal to the ruling party instead of the real people they are representing. BJP often forces the political representatives with the forces of money through different institutions BD, CBI, IT, etc. to join the party to get a favourable result. Instead of casting votes on manifesto or agenda of a party, votes are polled on religion, community or caste system. This element forces the elected representatives to make policies which are beneficial for a particular sect religion, caste, instead of whole community. Results are seen as a referendum on Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his governing BJ party indicating how people may vote during the next national elections. So, how will these state elections shape his political future and what will that mean for democracy in India?